AIDS Clinical Trial Group 076, or ACTG, is a phase three randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial designed to evaluate whether Zetofudine, or AZT, administered to HIV-infected pregnant women and their infants could reduce the rate of transmission from mother to infant. It was conducted in 1994 and took place in the United States and France at 59 sites of the ACTG. The U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases sponsored the study, while the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development contracted the trial sites. In addition to this, participant enrollment took place with the Institut National de la Santé et de la Recherche Médicale and Agence National de Recherche sur le SIDA in France. Burroughs Welcome Company provided the Zutifuda. The participants included HIV-infected pregnant women who had not taken any antiretroviral therapy during the current pregnancy, had baseline CD4 lymphocyte counts greater than 200 cells per millimeter cubed, and had no clinical indications for maternal antepartum ZDV therapy. The women were between 14 and 34 weeks of their pregnancy when they entered the study. Of the women enrolled, 51% were African American, 29% Hispanic, and 0.2% Asian. The ethnic and racial distribution of the trial participants is comparable to that in the population of HIV-infected women in the U.S. The participants were randomly assigned to either the dr active drug group, which involved administering Zutofudine, or the control group, which received a placebo. The National Institute of Health and the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases stated that, at the time ACTG 076 was designed, there was very little information regarding when the greatest risk of transmission occurs during gestation and delivery. Since transmission is known to occur in some infants in early in gestation, the investigators believed that institution of therapy as early as possible in pregnancy might be important in order to achieve the maximum possible effect on their transmission rate consistent with a reasonable safety profile. Thus, it was decided to begin treatment of the women no earlier than the end of the first trimester of pregnancy. Similarly, since one of the mechanisms which was hypothesized to be potentially important for a reduction in transmission was a reduction of the circulating HIV load in the mother, it was decided that women in the study should begin therapy no later than 34 weeks so that most of the women could have at least four weeks of therapy before delivery. The 1993 World Health Organization guidelines on human subjects research state, the ethical standards applied to a study in a host country should be no less exacting than they would be in the case of research carried out in the sponsoring country. In addition to this, the Declaration of Helsinki IV stated that, in any medical study, every patient, including those of a control group, if any, should be assured of the best proven diagnostic and therapeutic method. According to these guidelines, because of the efficacy of the ACTG 076 regimen and its demonstrated superiority to no care at all, the control group of any study within or funded by the United States would have to receive the 076 regimen rather than a placebo. Nevertheless, a control group, which received a placebo, was used. Opponents of this study claim that an equivalency study should have been used instead, which compares the effectiveness of the intervention being tested to an intervention that has already been proven to work. Since it was known at the time that doing nothing was ineffective, the researchers should have tested the Zutofudine treatment against a similar treatment. 
In addition to this, opponents also pointed out that drugs used in clinical trials are given at no charge, therefore money could not have been a barrier. There were a total of 421 infants born to the mother participants. However, only 364 of the infants had available culture results. Out of the 364 infants, 53 tested positive for HIV. 13 of those that tested positive were from the active drug group, while 40 were in the control group. Therefore, the estimated rate of transmission in the group that received the placebo was 25.5%. These results are statistically significant and indicate that if pseudofoodine is used in a similar population, only 8 out of 100 infants will be infected, compared to 25 out of 100 infants when pseudofoodine is not used. There were no significant short-term side effects to either mother or infants resulting from pseudofoodine use, other than mild anemia in the infants, which reversed shortly after treatment ended. There is no information regarding any long-term effects on the infants or mothers treated in this study. The results of this study indicate that treatment with zutofudine administered as it was during this study could greatly reduce vertical transmission or transmission from mother to child of HIV. Nonetheless, because the long-term effects of the drug are unknown, treatment using zutofudine should not be made available to the public until these effects are known and the benefits and risks are significantly weighed.